Hey guys, welcome to our species spotlight on the real Sebrum, the Heros severus. Uh, now we're actually shooting this video in the cafeteria here at Fluval headquarters, in, just outside of Montreal, Quebec. And we're doing this, we're shooting this video in front of our uh, aquarium here. It's a 10 foot tank. We're on the cafeteria side, the other side's facing our lobby. We've got a pair of these Severus that have spawned. Unfortunately, there's a little bit of mayhem being created because of the fact we've got lighting on the tank. We'll just help the pair push away the, uh, the other inhabitants of the tank until they're a gorgeous pair of fish. Now, these are the, we call them the real, uh, you know, Hero Severum or the real Severum. Uh, because, uh, in fact, you know, you don't see these in a the hobby. These are the real big boys of the Severum world. Uh, this particular species, there are five species of Severum. These guys are really, uh, I believe they are the biggest. And uh, they are not really commonly seen in, in the hobby. Now, post our Columbia expedition a number of years ago, uh, the following six months after that expedition, we had these exported from Columbia for us. Now, they're found in the upper or the northern um, Brazilian, uh, you know, Amazon watershed or uh, basin um, around Guiana, uh, you know, those areas there. Um, now, these are uh, really from the top of the uh, Rio Negro and uh, basically uh, that's closer to the Orinoco than it is the Amazon. Now, the, you know, we're referring to them as the real Severum as well because of the fact that, you know, uh, fish such as the pirate cichlid, for example, this is a fish that's been created by mixing various uh, strains of Severum together. So it's gotten to the point where in the hobby you really don't see too many accurate renditions of those different species of Severums. They are generally mixed uh, quite often, more often than not, which is really kind of an unfortunate thing in a way. Um, now these guys, um, one of the distinct most important, important distinguishing features is the third bar from the end, meaning the last bar being on the caudal fin. If you look at the third bar from there, you'll see that it's only half complete. So it could be half to 25% complete. That is really the distinguishing feature that sets them apart. You will clearly identify them as the Hero Severus when you see that. Um, now, uh, to move on, we'll cover this as a species spotlight as we generally do. And we'll go through the behavior, the size to get to, tank mates, uh, you know, feeding, water conditions, that kind of stuff. Now, you can see that these fish get big. These guys here, the male is, is, uh, is larger. It's this guy here in the corner. The female's busy keeping everyone away from the, the fry. I think we just showed you the eggs that are on the side. A lot of those are actually casings. This morning, uh, you know, the outer shell of the egg, the parents go and actually chew the egg uh, open and take the fries, they start to jiggle and they place them typically in the substrate or some crevices in the rock, which you can see right over there. So they're busy defending their spawn, they're doing a real good job of it too, as a matter of fact. And they're hiding those babies in there. They uh, take typically about three to four days to hatch, in this case I think it was about three days before they hatch and now they're uh, actually fry that are that are kind of jiggling. Now, typical temperature range, like a lot of South American cichlids, 77 to 82 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, the, the pH range is about six to seven in general and the DKH anywhere from like three to five, if you keep it around three or four, softer water is a little bit better for them. Um, as I mentioned, the males are, are uh, larger, uh, these fish get big, I mean you can start with a group of them in a 55 gallon tank, but they'd have to be small babies to just a couple of inches long. They need big tanks, so you're looking at when these guys hit to be a small group of them, when they hit adult size, need really a six foot aquarium. This is a 10 foot beast that we have here in, the, uh, in our lobby, in our, as our display here at, uh, at Fluval. Uh, it's a 300 US gallon aquarium. So they're comfortable in there. There's a group of six of them, in fact, three pairs. Uh, as you can see, when they spawn, they're territorial fish. Uh, they will keep the uh, other fish away from their, uh, from their spawn and when they pair off. Uh, you know, as typical tank mates with these fish, you'd want bigger, somewhat more peaceful types of cichlids and some of the other uh, species. For example, we have Leperinus. Um, Alti dorsalis in this tank along with them. We have a couple of real big beasts that came in from Columbia at the same time. Or from that same uh, shipment as our Hero Severus did. 
and of course some of the larger plecos. We have some vampire, a male vampire pleco that lives underneath this uh, this wood stack over here. So bigger plecos, uh, you know, uh, more peaceful South American cichlids, headstanders, for example. Uh, those types of fish are really ideal uh, tank mates for for the severums, as you'll typically find them in the wild uh, with them. Now. Uh, feeding them, uh, no challenge of course. These guys do very well on a diet of, uh, of pellets. They're big fans of fluval bug bites, in fact, of the cichlid formula. They do extremely well on that. Uh, live foods like uh, living earthworms, for example, great treat for them, and a variety of different frozen foods like krill, shrimp, all the typical fare that any tropicals will eat, but obviously in bigger sizes, these guys get big. You know, typical size of a male when it hits adulthood is around 10 to 12 inches, and I I'd, I'd venture to guess that that fish over there, the male of that pair, is uh, is closing in on a foot long. So these guys are uh, they they require big uh, big tanks. Now li lifespan of these fish is about 10 years. Uh, they can even go a little bit longer than that. So uh, you know, be be prepared to take care of them for the long haul. Very special fish. Uh, we're glad we had a chance to uh, share them uh, with you today here at head office. You can see that uh, this is an ideal type of setup for them. We're very proud of them. We've had them here for a number of years. Thanks a lot for watching. Please uh, leave us any comments below. Any questions you have, please, please let us know. Take care. See you next time.